Hi guys, how you guys doing out there this morning? I hope you're blessed, healed, free, and saved. And if you're not saved, I will offer that salvation prayer to you at the end of this 714 prayers. But I hope and pray, my prayer and Steve's prayer is that you are blessed, that you're walking in all those blessings of God and walking in divine healing and that you have been set free. Isn't that awesome what God has done? When he took when He took all of our sins and, and our everything, he took it our, for our healing to be free. He took it all to the cross so that we could walk in that divine healing and freedom. I mean, and blessings. He has so many blessings for us. And I don't think none of us have really tapped into what, what, what he really has for us out there, all of us. So it's been, it's amazing. It's amazing. So I just want to welcome you to this morning's 714 prayer. Steve is not with me again. Um, please keep him in your prayers and alignment. They're still working really hard to restore power. There was a lot of power outages. So from the storms that we had. So anyways, we are reading through the Bible in a year and it's been awesome. I don't know about you guys, but Steve and I have been um, enjoying this. It's been really good, and I hope that you have been enjoying it along with us. And I just want to thank you, too, those out there that are sticking by not only Pastor Rick and Diane, but Steve and I in this 714, that you're coming back and you're you're hearing the word every morning, um, every day. I'm so glad that you guys uh, trust us, that, that you love us, and I just want to let you know that we love you, too. And I think it's been great. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, today's Bible reading is 2 Thessalonians 3, Acts 18, um, all the, Acts chapter 18, 19 to verses 41, 1941, and Psalm 13. And so today I'm going to read 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, 1 through 5. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may run swiftly and be glorified just as it is with you. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For not all have faith, but the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. And we have confidence in the Lord concerning you, both that you do and will do the things we command you. Now may the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patience of Christ. So, that's how we pray for our community is verses 1 through 5. We need that transformation to come in our cities, people of God, and we can guide our prayers to that transformation. In John 5, four, uh, verses 14 and 15, it says, if we, we read, if we ask anything according to God's will, we have confidence that he will answer us, people of God. In 2 Thessalonians 3, 1, God, God's word reveals his desire for his work to advance everywhere in the way he had advanced it in Thessalonia. That's exactly right, people of God. We have the authority of the scriptures to pray boldly for the gospel, to run swiftly and be glorified, just as it was in that city the Holy Spirit impacted long ago, the very city where the charge was made that the gospel had turned their world upside down. Acts 17 Verses 6. Don't we want that for our cities to be turned upside down for God, for Christ, for Jesus, those to come to Christ to get saved? Aren't we living in the last days? Don't we need that transformation? Don't we need uh, to conform to God's ways and not the world's ways? So to pray for our city and county, base your prayers from the gospel, what Jesus said. Pray for God's love among believers in our county, people of God. Pray for that move of God, the gospel, to change us from the inside out, to change our church even, to change our county. Maybe, you know what, some places need, uh, need to be reformed. They need to be transformed, reformed and transformed. We can't keep doing the same thing over and over and expecting the same result. We cannot do that, people of God. We have to pray. We have to. Our lives need change so that we can go in and impact others and impact our cities, impact our counties, people of God. The Lord wants that. I'm telling you, he does. Take the words serious. 
Take it serious. Walk walk out his word in your life. Walk it out in your county, in your in your church. And if and if any of you out there and you've never ever received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I'm telling you, you can't have you can't have heaven without it. Uh heaven is a real deal, and so is hell. And I don't think you want to go to hell. You need to take his word serious. You need to believe in your heart, confess it with your mouth that Jesus is, it died on the cross for you. I'm telling you, he did. He loves you and he wants you saved. He wants you in heaven with him one day. And if that's you out there, I want you to say this prayer for me, with me. Say, I believe in my heart that Jesus died on the cross for me so that I can have eternal life with him. I believe that he rose from the dead on the third day. I receive you now, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me. That's it. That's the salvation prayer. It's that simple. It's that simple. Now you are saved. You get to you get you get heaven. That is the benefit package right there. You get to go to heaven. Praise God. And I'm telling you what, they're rejoicing in heaven and so am I. I, I am really happy and elated. And then if you said that prayer, please get a hold of us. We're from Resurrection Life Church, St. Louis, Michigan. Our phone number and website will be at the bottom of this screen. We want to hear from you. And then if you did say that salvation prayer, you need to hook up into a good church family. Uh, you need to come to a good church. Resurrection Life Church is a great church. Our services are at 10 a.m. Sunday morning and 7 p.m. on Wednesday night. They say a they say a, a church that's alive is worth the drive. So even if you're an hour away, just come check us out. Just come drive and check us out. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. We have the best pastor, Pastor Rick and Diane Lopez. They're the best pastors out there. He speaks truth. He he walks in love. So come. Come check us out. I'm telling you, you won't regret it. So, tomorrow morning, I will have another devotion. Come back tomorrow morning and um, you'll hear the word again. And I'm tell telling you guys to have a great day today. The best day ever. And I will see you tomorrow morning. Peace.